Tunaendelea kuwakaribisheni nyote ambao mweza kufika, kufika hapa. Tunapoendelea kujitarisha. Kuanza ibada takatifu ya misa na hafla ya siku ya leo. Ya kumzindikisha mama wetu mpendwa. Mary Agnes Njambi. I welcome each and every one of you present here. Any time from now we are going to have the procession.
Sasa tunaenda kuanza procession ya kuingiza mwili wa mama wetu na tungeomba tafadhali wale wote ambao tuko huko nje tafadhali wale ambao tuko nje tafadhali tuweze kuingia katika uga huu tuweze kuanza hafla yetu ya leo Mtu mmoja wa Wanda Joy tafadhali ana ombo aweze kuenda kapale katika mlango wa kwangu wa kushoko wa kulia Tafadhali let us kindly take our seats. Watu wa Wanda Joy tafadhali Mike, 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 Mike. Sound kidogo tafadhali. Let us kindly take our seats. We're gonna have the procession that will bring the procession to bring forward the body of our beloved mom. So as we settle down, let me give this opportunity to engineer Michael Kamau ili aweze kututayarisha wale ambao tutakuwa tunapeana speeches in the next few minutes tafadhali tuweze kujulishwa tuweze ukaribia hapa mbele Mulegato kumi ya Yesu Kristo Mulegato kumi ya Yesu Kristo Yesu neno wa kuroka etoka idhani ya raine ini dona muri kuna ni murajigwa asante ni sana ah ni gado muno ni gukinya kwa nyuguko tunashukuru mungu kwa yote na ni ndo au tuwe muthenya mwega wa umuthi riu guhoya andu ari ame gukoro makiaria nigetha tutigate mahinda twajiria igongona mahua no i makuiriria haha mbere Nigeza dame ta tutigate mahida. Eh tuna Mr. Dominic Dirago ucio ni dramona ari haha mbere. Tuna community leader wa Nutri Business. Mudwa Nutri Business yule atwadiria ari ha. Mudwa Nutri Business can you please come forward? Ari ha. Nutri Business CWA Secretary Moranga Ruse Wanjiro Kamau where are you Ruse Wanjiro Kamau No ke ha bere Mama Ruse Wanjiro Kamau Okay. No, no way how? Okay. Um, come out. Only a mamma, you are a weaker. Nedaheo kerea ati neme kuigua ni ni konsorata wajiru mugo nuo kualia konsorata wajiru mugo the C A C A manua dinare the Catholic Action C A manua dinare areha 
Consolata chairman wa dinare. Ako api. Eh, where is our chief? Shibu Aleha. Garacho, David. Do you see Shibu? Where you are, Woku? You may go where there are the animal I want to draw the Makidogo. And only go where he's to the Aquanimo Kumena. Kaburuki Parish. Martin Joroge. Martin Joroge, where are you? Martin Joroge. Arumere Ironi, former principal, Wangaradia. Mama Agnes. Mama Agnes, who are Mama Agnes, who are Eh? There, there, there. Ya 
onani muzini tabu ya tamimi onagava na mutigana na ake todo we know who is here and we are all family kana tigua we are all here as a family we are all brothers and sisters asante ni sana na mugo kakwaliria haha ha ni homu kakwaliria thank you muno asante sana engineer father mudomi father mudomi pale nyuma tafadhali unaweza anzisha procession kindly kwa ya procession ikianza kwa ya mtatupa wimbo ama nyimbo zinazofaa tutaomba kwa heshima ya mama wetu sote tuweze kusimama procession inapo ingia Tafadhali dereva wa KDL 830N dereva wa KDL 830N tafadhali kwa haraka aende afungulie wakubwa njia tafadhali KDL 830N kwa haya Tafadhali KBL 830N tafadhali dereva wa KBL 830N tafadhali amefungia askofu na anatahitaji kuchukuliwa tafadhali dereva wa KBL 830N kindly kwa Oh 
tafadhali tafadhali akina mama wa sida bidio hii tutulie hapo ili tuendelee na latipa ingine tafadhali Hamjambo tusifu Yesu Kristo. Ah uh, nitabadilisha kidogo manake hapo bere nilikuwa naogea lugha nyingine ambayo ile kina watu wengi. Wakati huu we are really really pressed for time. So ikifika pengine tutakata bishops wamejiada, priest wamejiada. Kwa hivyo nitaomba the first person to speak uh, Mr. Dominic Dirango on behalf of friends of the family. Tafadhali kuja hapa. Dakika kidogo tu tatu hivi fadha hapa naona amenikaria sana Gai ni mwega Na hii is your there God is good and all the time Um bere hado gearia hado ine harata ingeda gucokeria ngai gatho muno makiria niudu wa kahinda karia ngai atuhete na muno miaka iria ngai atuhete uikarania na murata witu mere jabi wa tomasi ngugi nikiheo kinene muno kuri ngai na muno makiria <coughs> nyudo wa muthenya wa muthi tukite ugo tukite nigetha tumumagarie wakeri uturo wakwa na mutumia wakwa na family yakwa esta wambui na family ya Thomas Ingugi eto ikarite turi arata makiria ya miaka 40 na eto thomete maingi kuma kwe thomas na mere jabi wambere neoma to ingiririe kanitha twi na waboi mwaka ini wa 1992 na makiroga mirira kirathimo kiohiki witu na kumagia na hideyo urata witu uturetio ni mwadhani tuweda nete muna makiri ya tafamiri nikule otungati wa kanitha Thomas Ngugi na mirijabi tuwa kwa lila mage tungata na hivyo mageto ingiria theini watu ngatio shio mudu ulea mame nyanete bere theini wa family ino na hivyo nenyino airimu na nenyino airimu na esta ambu idirangu na mire jabi ageto nyithithania na thomas ingoge na theini watu rosio wito twarikia kunyitithanio kyo hiki ni turugamirirwe ni Thomas na na Jabi ni kuri maundu maingi muno tuthieta tugithomaga na muno kirekiririo ini na uria nyina wa irimo atoiria jiraga ati theinde wa marriage to mentorship ani nyine ni nyonete oguo uturo wake mutumia wakwa aturite theini wa kehiko ni ndudu wa nyina wa jabi ah sorry ni ni ndudu wa mire jabi 
na kiri kiri roine ala jeli re maitu itu maitu akwa wa muthia ni athie tondu maitu othe ni mathiete iyo ni tribute yake ala jeli re maitu itu wa muthia ni athie na ni undu ucio ndumiriri yake kana tribute yake ni mire jabi ahuroke kihuroko getathiraga na utheri wa hingo ciothe urutani haria tumia ina ilmu akoretu akijira ati thini wa kihiko muthuri akwira Atiragi owe na ten tie no ne red. Gide mo tiragi ono lehana. Oko iga e ne red. Ati oko iga ne ke ne red. Ne guo e liruo ne nyino angara shu. Na to ira te ke tio guo. Ko guo ne da mo ira ragi o ne red. Na mo ake ona ne white. Ako iga ne red. Nithie tana mbere ge confirm ago do cio tondu na kiambiriria hindi yo hiki muthuri o gwitwa to majingugi na watukire ni gukwario to ndiraria haha no gwikinya handu mwali mweta gugacukia akuria gwitu gatundu south akiuga ni ekwaria auga auga ni ekwaria akiro oti kwario rengi ayoka kejuria no woiga ni thomas ngugi mwalimu ucio akijira agikorwa ni thomas ngugi woiga oguo ri ah reke horo cio kinya hau na wakinyire horo hau gutiaririo rengi nda obwo mu ndekuga gutikario rengi na eha ni dira confirm ile muthenya wa sunday gimwira akije akihure athimu akijira mitha ri Ero kuwa tha inyanya na anuthu. Na niyengi mwela ye hideri wa nitha akiata na anuthu. Akijira angi kwa wata akwela tha inyanya na anuthu ule. Na wangi makwele nitha akiata na anuthu ule. Uke manya woka tha akiata na anuthu ni yoko shere? Ni yoko shere ro. Dhini wa moru tani maya ma Thomas na Najabi. Ni mane ne because I know them as a very firm family and dear loving. Kedo dare mi ro ne wo thoma kuma gwe family no. No gwe ta mutumia wa kwa dia. Todo idho wangara shi watoire etaga nyina wangara shi my dear. Kuma ore ya dama menyire. No niye dia dawa ta weta nyina wa ilimoke my dear no kumwa muthi thomas ngwa bilia ko mweta dia na le tondu jeri ro jarie eh dakika nyinyi ni ko kinyia hau na juge thomas ngwa gina family yaku gaya muige wega na muturie na duguiture na kenyi na wangara shu adie na wega na ture na agie na kehuroko kiega na gai nia gatwe kumahida mako nana nake omu the nyomwe tumusifi yeso kristo mungu ni muema na asante ni sana god bless Oh, did I do it? Nitawa on Basana. He kazi in Gumu. In Mizoya Kazigum Rakini in Gumu. Sababu Atuna Masa. Na Sababu Tunajua, Kini Akua Hapa, Nimisa. Na Misa, Nikum Tukuza Mungu. Kwaivo Kama Niki skip, Tafadarius Kasirike. Sababu Tunataka Kupedeza Mungu Hapa. Neguo. 
Haya, charede CWA tafadhali dakika tatu nikiwa hapa nawaambia kata kata kata. So uziruzi ya trail of thoughts nikikwambia hivyo. Endelea tu. Karibu. God is good and all the times. Nimeega ihinda inede de daheo. Nimete hali agataga ninge dina le charede wagatageno kusokelia ngai witu gatho wa mbere ni gutuhe maitu uri atuya ati thini wa kiama giki niwe waturehire from 1974 niwe waigure ni kuri kiama ya CWA na ni kyo Catholic Women Association na kigirire nginyanyire tondu ni kuo kiama giki kiambiririe na riria mathire na tumia angi meho na angi matari ho ni masokire magigiturehere kiama giki na magithiururuka parishes sito nigetha magituthomithie uhoro uyu wa kumba kiama giki gya tumia akanda gatoreki magituthomithia muno na nigetha misi yitu etweke misi miageriru kuma hedeyo na nitwambiririe gukiumba sia maisi kuma avaroko churches tugiuka paris tugigithie ginya dao sesi na ni marutire era munene muno matongoretio ni maitumire ni tondu umuthi uyu kya magito kina atumia makiria ngiri 10 na kindu ni tondu gutire mundu wingagira agathoma mieri itandatu akaigwa gucoka na thutha kwogwo ni marutire era muthaka maito amatongoretie na ni tukenaga ni wira wake na no kyo ngai witu ekumuhe matuko macio aramuheire ni tondu wa kurutira ngai wira edete na ngoro yake yothe na mwiri wake wothe ona gutiganiria mawira make mothe atungatire kanitha witu kwogwo ni turacokia ngatho ni kumenya ati ni arutire wira muthaka nginyo muthi na ni kyo muona atumia othe mokita ni tondu wa ukungwiri na damenyire maitu 1980s Dini wa musi wa kwa kwenda bisa yake to dunia ni one of the boat dini wa gataga girls mena muthuri wakwa na ni okire kona mikadania mikadania ni mete nigetha nake oke ari me guku gwake kogo ni mutumia wedete wira wa musi wake wa kanitha na wa matura na wa itura riothe ngai bitu amuige handu hega na ithoguo CWA kana tumi yothe athe yothe kana amuranga yothe ugwo maitu atutongoretie na ithi wira ucio turute nigetha mahinda maitu na ithi makinya tukona ya kuganirwa ni tondu wa kira tugukorwa tuhandite thinie wa kiama ya CWA ngai bitu amurathime ringi na muige handu hega kuwiguru tiro tukona na ringi ni tondu wa mwathani tumusifu Yesu Kristo I have told you ukiona priest akija nyuma yako kukusukuma is, is very unusual so muniwie mun, radhi na hatutaki tufanye kama ati tunakibiza watu sana afadhali tu watu tatu watuongereshe na waongee so saa hii nitamwita Mr Robert Gakinya from the Archdiocese of Nyeri and I think most likely is going to be the last person because bishops wako na function nyingine afternoon asanteni Asante sana Ijinia Your grace my lordships reverend priests and sisters There are digana na protocol Na no go kirumirira juge jitawo robati gakinya waja u kuma akdauzis ito yanyire na tokete idwode kuma anyire nyodu wa muri idibito his grace anton muheria nigetha tuke tunyitanire nake hamwe na family nigwe dakurehera birabi cyakwa 
Sia family yako ha Sia dao zesi ito yode ya njiri Ohari ya hode ya aruma Nigweda kumiriri ya family Ya fafa wito Tumbu ire Adhiye na abere na kwe umiriri ya Ohamwe na shia na shia ke Nitodu gai ekite okwe dagu wake Shokirie gai wito gado Ni udu ame ya kere ya rahete maito wito Aga koro alikio nereli ya kiega Uturo ini wa umudu Ya kere ya maito wito wa kore tuweho Nituwa igua ulea Ali muabiriri ya wa CWA na maginyoshi ya kechiyode ili ya atuwali dhetie gikudigia CWA na chieko siyake ginyaniru kukuki hoya gai mwene hinyawode uli ya uhea naga hea no chiyake ili ya tukora gotu ili 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 ya tuligu kuhudhi gai wito amuamu kire Amuhe kehuro kokiega kuhiguru na atore akenaga akenagio newira wake ni uduwa ila adhimo ili agai wito akumula adhima na shio. Gokiugadi kweda kuwagiria muno ni uduwa uguo madha madhiete no tuge tuihamwe muno family gumurio lege gai wito adhina abere na kumuhe umiriru. Roho mudheru amu ikurukire, amu lirika ni atetitheru, mushiari no udhiyaga adhiya gete, ona idhu idhu odhe tulio ruga edo iniruru. Thegi umuno, gaiwi ito amu ikewega. Mwadhani unegre mire Agnes Maria Ajabi ke huruko gita diraga. Aro huruka uhoro, thegi umuno. Asante sana buwana kakinya. The driver of uh, KBY 491P, Tafadhari Odoagari, KBY 491P. At this moment, I'm going to invite uh, Mr. John Kungo from Keguea. That is where our beloved mom hailed from, and he's going to make a few comments. Thank you. I am Tom Sifu, so Christo. Uh, na hitu wakamau kongo itikipa, itipati zokte zimezingatiwa nimesimama hapa kuleta la, uh, lisara za rambilabi kwa niamba ya familia ya muendia familia ya kongo familia ya madheri ambako ndiko muenda zake aliko zariwa uh, nitanena tuma chache nitanena tuma chache kwanza ni kwamba mwenda zake aa, alikuwa mtu ambaye tulimwenzi sana tulimpenda sana aa, kwa sababu aa, alikuwa kielelezo mwafaka kwa familia zote zetu alitupenda sana kwa moyo wa, kwa moyo wa dhati na hiyo tunajua familia hizo zote nimetaja aa, alitupenda sana na kwa hivyo Uh, tunapokuja kutoa lisara zetu za Rambilabi tumempoteza mama yetu na shangazi yetu ambaye ni mpedwa sana vile vile uh, alikuwa selfless selfless kabisa kwamba yeye siku moja nakumbuka siku moja akiniambia kwamba eh, mimi i do not have she does she did not have a cousin who is a governor lakini mimi nikamwambia i have one in other words she was very selfless in the sense that alipenda sana kila wakati ukikutana na yeye anakuuliza how is your family how are your brothers how are your sisters how are your children na kwa hivyo uh, tunapozungumza kuhusu huyo shangazi yetu ambaye tumuita tata meli aa, tume tunasijisikia kwamba tumempoteza mtu ambaye tulimpenda sana katika familia yetu najua 
Mungu alimpenda sana hata she was very courageous ndiye mwanamke wa kwanza kumuona kiedesha gari ndiye mwanamke wa kwanza kumuona kiedesha gari nakumbuka vizuri sana kiedesha KPS na KRC na aliedesha hii gari kwa ukakamavu mwingi sana Aa, na kila wakati sisi tukiwa watoto wake alikuwa anatubeba kwa hiyo gari anatutembelea nadhani ni mengi sana ambayo tunaweza kusema kuhusu yeye uh, but one thing that we cannot forget is that good voice of Tata Mary that good voice we shall miss that good voice kwa hiyo mengi na machache mwadhani amuna kideke huruko getathiraga aro huruka uhoro thank you Asante sana. These are the best behaved speakers I've ever had. Leo next ni Bwana Garasho kutoka Mukurwe. Mukurwe ni kuwa baba au mete. That is where Amze um, Goge ametoka. Atanena kidogo. Mwana gato mukumi Yesu Kristo. Ni ni mwana wa nyata mu mwaje Garasho muheria. Na tondo ni muwe mundu ayeruna <laughs> Na ndongirathire gwake mwambe kwaria muno utambite kuria na kunywa. Uguo nonjugire ni tutigetwo ni maitu uri vata. Na ndetwetekirite uguo nonjugire mwagani aya maitu maitu meri kihuruka itathira na utheri wa ndishi wa na magaragi. Mwagani anangara maitu meri kihuruka itathira. Thank you. Thank you. Sasa naona karibu Apostolic Nunzi akuje kuniambia nikatize. Eh Sasa kwa kati tuko na DCC bwana Joseph Kanyeki. Naomba tafadhali mimi nitaomba msamaha na munisamehe. Mudekere that we will not be able to have another speaker at this moment mpaka sasa mwisho mwisho wa, wa ceremony uh, so bwana commissioner tafadhali okay asante sana mc eh, kwa majina naitwa joseph kanyeki keilo all protocols observed eh, familia ya mfu siku ya leo na sijua ni siku yenu na sisi hatuna kama ofisi ya administration kandara yote tumekuja kuwakilisha serikali na ile kitu tunaweza patiana kwa familia ni pole mingi sana na rabi rabi zote kwa niamba ya kutoka DCC all account kwa assistant county commissioners na ma chief e, nimepewa hiyo jukumu ya kupatiana e, pole zao e, namba 2 najua watu wametoka sehemu mbalimbali ya Kenya ile kitu tunaweza fanya ni kuwakaribisha msikie muko nyumbani Eh, security yetu na usalama yenu iko sawa na kila mtu magari yao ajue iko imeangaliwa vizuri na security yote imepangwa na ikifika wakati wa kutoka tunawaomba kwa kweli eh, muweze kwenda safari jema na siku nyingine pia mkuje mtutebelee so unashukuru sana na msikie mko nyumbani asanteni sana mazungumzo hiyo ingine tafadhali itakuwa after the service naomba 
we have about 15 bishops they have commitments so naomba nitamatisha hapo tafadhali na ni kwa heshima um ningependa hata mimi mtue na wakati mrefu wa kuongea lakini haitawezekana so just for domestics tuko na bahari ya kujisaidia pade ya nyuma wale ambao walikuwa wameingilia hapa wanajua pahari wataenda na the other facilities are there if there is anybody ambaye hajihisi vizuri we have ambulances so and there are people ushers who lead you to to that father kazi kwako asante sana muhandisi sasa tutakuwa tunaanza ibada takatifu ya misa wakati wote kutoka sasa msafara wa misa utaweza ukaribu na kwa hivyo tungeomba wanako ya tafadhali yotuongoze kwa wimbo nyimbo zinazofaa ili msafara wa misa naona umekaribia kwa hivyo ningeomba sote tuweze kusimama tafadhali
Oh, my God. 
tuketi. Ningependa kumwalika baba askofu James Maria Wainaina askofu wa Jimbo hili la Muranga ili aweze kutukaribisha sote tuliopo hapa katika ibada yetu ya leo na kwa njia kipekee kumpokea askofu anayetuongoza katika ibada takatifu ya misa Your Excellency, Most Reverend Matthias, Maria Berti van Megen, then Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya. Your Eminence, John Cardinal and Jue, Archbishop Emeritus of Nairobi. Your Excellency, the, our Governor, here present with us, Honorable Irungu Kangata, your Grace, Most Reverend Anton Moheria, Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Nyeri. Your Graces, the Archbishops, my Lord Bishops, Your Excellencies, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Brothers and Sisters, Religious, Mr. Thomas Ngogi, the brave husband of the late Mary Njambi, and your beloved family, and the entire extended family. Honorable members of parliament, CS is present, CS, MCAs, all other administrative and uh, political leaders present with us, esteemed guests, all members of Christian faithful, my brothers and sisters in Christ, ladies and gentlemen. God is good. God is good. God is and all the a woman with a great Christian heart and who come to show our solidarity and, li and live movements that are of deep prayer together with the bereaved family, the family of Mr. Thomas Ngugi and his children. We wanted to assure you of our prayers, our support in every way, and also to assure you that our mother, Mary Jambi, is in heaven. The Lord called her when she was very well prepared spiritually. And that is also what we believe. So our main celebrant is His Grace, Most Reverend Anthony Moheria, the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Nyeri, and is also a son in this family. My name is Bishop James Maria Wainaina of the Catholic Diocese of Muranga, and that is where we are. I therefore take this chance to welcome you all to this Holy Mass. Let us give our mother, Mary Njambi Ngogi, a send-off that is befitting her faith and the love of God, Karibuni Sana. Feel at home. I now take this privilege to ask His Grace to lead us in this celebration. Karibu. Kwa jina la baba, na la mwana, na la roho mtakatifu. Amina. Nema ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, na upendo wa mungu baba, na ushirika wa roho mtakatifu, viwe na nye nyote. E bwana umjali raha ya milele na nuru ya milele imwangazie
uwe mwadhani ogetidaga okirora mawaga nunu mwadhani ogetire redia mwadhani otoigwereda kristo otoigwereda mwadhani otoigwereda fafa bitore igoro Ngokuwaidia Maria. Arokumia ida moana na moyo mudaru. Arokumia ida moana na moyo mudaru. Guko kwa idia Maria, yule nyega, mawada ni yale na, yule mla adime kuli ya kawde, na ismo na dia kuli mla adime, Maria mudaru ni na gei, thora idwe hiya, una idale au kwa guito, ni kut, fafa guito le igoro, thora ya kuro iguo, na nyawa kuroka, ule au kwa dola kwa guko de, thora ya kwa igoro, thora ya mo de idia shi shi ya guto igana, na thora ya mai ya mai to. Tore ide tu agla le matu hetia, wa tu agla maestia ine, na otono kio ri ne. Alo kumi ide mo ana mo modelu. Aiga si da te na mo na. Alo kumi ide mo ana mo modelu. Alo kumi ide mo ana mo modelu. Fa fa vi to le igoro. Ayo, anak-anak aku raka. Orang kau dah lekau kau deh, tak ada yang kau. Atau hari amu deh riset siapa kau tu ikan? Nau tu hari mai, ya mai tu. Orang ini tu agak lah, mai tu eh tia. Orang tu tak mai ya ini. Nau tu anak kiri ini, nego tu eh kerja. Kuma muromo wa irehero, arohu roka uhoro. Muda ni etekerai hoya reakwa. Mwadhani aroi karana inye, nituhoe. We mwadhani igwiratha murumiri liwaku, timiri Agnes Njambi, negeetha umuwa mukirege ikaro inigeaku, mudhegerie mahiti ya make, maria eke teniudu wa uhudhu, wake wa muiri. Tuahoe uguo, nyudu wa kristu, mwadhani wito. Nida kuradima Mary Agnes Njambi na mai madheru. Makulirikana mudhenya wa ufatido waku. Mudhenya olea mudheru po aturirikana giate. Hedere atu afatidirio dhini wa muadhani wito Yesu Kristo. Nitu afatidirio dhini wagi kuoge ake. Nitu adhire beri raine nake na tukinyitana nake wikuine. Niguo otore ya kristu ali ukirio kumagi kuhine. Ni okumio waide. Idwe na idwe tuturi oturo mweru. Agikoro tuwe yohanetie na kristu. Na tutuwe ketetake. Ni tukali ukatake hedea ili ukero. Tuombe. E mungu, ni kawaida yako daima kuwa na huruma na kusamehe. Tunakusihi kwa unyenye kevu kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako mama yetu Mary Agnes Jambi. Ulie muita kwako. Tunakuomba. Kwa kuwa alikuta mtumishi. 
alikutumaini na kukuamini wewe umjalie afike kwenye makao ya kweli na huko afurahi milele kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika Mungu daima na milele bado tumeketi na kutulia tusikilize neno la Mungu tukisomewa Somo katika kitabu cha Ayubu Ayubu alijibu Ningetaka maneno yangu yaandikwe Ningetaka yachorwe katika gombo Yachongwe milele katika mwamba kwa patasi ya chuma na kwa risasi mimi najua kwamba mokozi wangu yuhai na kwamba atasimama juu ya mavumbi yeye wa mwisho. Nami nikivikwa ngozi yangu nitasimama wima na katika mwili wangu nitamuona Mungu. Nami nitamuona mimi mwenyewe wala si mwingine. Neno la Bwana. Zaburi ya kuitikizana kiitikio Bwana ni mwanga wangu na wokovu wangu Bwana ni mwanga wangu na wokovu wangu Bwana ni mwanga wangu na wokovu
second reading, a reading from the book of Timothy. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Let us stand for the gospel acclamation. Father, says the Lord, that everyone who believes in the Son should have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Takatifu, Ilivyoandi kwa na Yohane. Ujuku fuko kwa
wakati yule Yesu aliwaambia wafuasi wake mioyo yenu isihangaike mnasadiki Mungu nisadikini mimi pia nyubani mwa baba yangu mna makao mengi kama sivyo je ningaliwaambia kwamba ninakwenda kuwatengenezea mahali baada ya kwenda na kuwatengenezea mahali nitakuja tena niwashukue kwangu mpate kuwapo nilipo mimi na nimeijua ajia ya niedako Tomaso akamwambia Bwana hata wedako hatujui basi twaijuaje jia Yesu akamwambia Mimi dimi jia na ukweli na uzima Hakuna ajaye kwa baba ila kwa jia yangu mimi Injiri ya Bwana Sasa tuketi tutulie tusikilize homilia. Your Excellency, the Apostle Nunzio to Kenya and Southern Sudan, Your Eminence, our Cardinal, Archbishops, Bishops, all the religious men and women here, family members, friends and relatives of this family, and all of us who have come here today, not to mourn, but to celebrate life as it is written on the book, this booklet, celebrating a life well lived. I feel it in my heart as a celebration. But as we come to this celebration, where has our mom gone through? She has gone through lots of joy, lots of suffering in her life. But the good thing, she was never afraid of the cross. She never would run away from the cross. And indeed, in moments of pain, her heart and her face was always full of joy, even in carrying that cross. Oh, would that my words were inscribed in a record with an iron chisel and with a lead cut in a rock forever. My inmost being is consumed with longing. That's Job, and we know his story. And it was a story full of pain, but with a good ending. Because again, Job did not run away from the cross. He embraced the cross long before Jesus, and was rewarded immensely. The second reading for us is wonderful and is a beautiful reading for those who age. You feel you have done your duty. And it's like, I remember it was like at the departure gate. I was told this news about the passing on of mom when I was heading to the airport. And when we were at the departure gate, I just imagined if I was going forever, would I be full of joy? I have come to the end of my life and I'm now departing, being dispatched to go to where I wanted to go. 
we went and arrived safely. Then you ring back and tell people we have safely landed. I hope family members, all of us here, you got such a call from mom. Safely landed, safely landed. And that will take you now to the gospel, which is about ourselves. Let your hearts not be troubled. Because I go to the Father. And where I go, I go to prepare a place for you. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. A call to live a life based on gospel values. In life, we have a very good supply of morally upright people. And I suppose all of us are morally upright. And if not, we are being given a chance to lead a holy life and not to fear the cross. The church celebrates people who have led exemplary lives. We call them saints. And their life has to begin now so that when you are gone, we can know you are one of those who have gone to pray for us. On Saturday, we'll be celebrating the Uganda matters. And it just fills me with joy when I read that book, The African Holocaust, the story of the matters, and how enthusiastic they were to embrace the cross in those moments of hatred of the gospel values. Nothing would frighten them. They even saying, Harakisha, kama niyo kuwa, tuwe, kasa unaenda kwa mungu. Mara nyingi watu wengine wetu nakimbia, tukitisho tukidogo, na tunajito wa kristo. They were so full of the Holy Spirit that fear and evil had no place in their hearts in spite of their personal weaknesses. And on Sunday, we celebrated Pentecost. I think it was a house like this, full of people, full of fear. And the Spirit of God penetrated even through closed doors. Message, peace be with you. Do not be afraid. Receive the Holy Spirit. That you are so full of the Holy Spirit that the evil spirit has nowhere to come in into our lives. Remember the birth of Jesus, born in a major. Why? Because there was no room in the inn. There was no room in the inn. That was born outside the major. We can make it our life, our story, that the evil spirit goes to the manger. Out there with the cattle. Because there is no room for him in our hearts. We sing, come Holy Spirit, to enkindle our hearts, to fill us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Even as a nation, and every nation celebrates freedom fighters and nationalists, those who shed their blood because of us. But we also celebrate witnesses who did not shed their blood, but stood as witnesses. As I was perusing through the booklet, I saw where mom was going to church and met the freedom fighters, and her defense was her faith. Mimi, naenda ata kuombea, jyo And you know the spirit penetrates into the hearts. While they were doing evil to others, she was let to go because they know the importance of being prayed for. This view of the cross, they call it in uh, Greek and it's taurophobia. You see the cross, you start shaking. Saint Peter was in a similar situation about the covert tradition, escaping because Jesus is dead, they want to kill him, I don't want to remain here. And as he was going, he meets Christ himself, does him, Quo Vadis, where are you going? 
explains, okay, you are afraid, you go, then I go and be crucified a second time. Awake at the moment, and the story is that he went back and embraced the cross. How much do we complain when we face trials? We want to be Christians, but we don't want to suffer. We even want to bribe God to remove pain from our lives. No wonder we go to Shakaola. We don't want the cross in our lives. Do they do this for you? Then the false prophets, they drive on that, our fears, so that they can promise us a different life. Let's embrace suffering. Pain and difficulties bring out either the best or the worst in us. Watch and pray. Do not be pleased, even in the name of God. Remember Jesus called upon the Father on the cross to save him. God was like quiet. Then he looked around, said, if it's your will, give me the strength to drink this cup. And he drank it. And because of that, God raised him through the power of the Spirit. When the such moments come, let's remember that moment of the resurrection is there. The great hope that you are given. It is the rare heroism to suffer so much and yet exude so much happiness and joy as one stoically carries a cross. A personal testimony, I visited mom in hospital in one of our critical moments. And uh, she said her heart and her face, you thought should be discharged. She said, no, but you are well. What are you doing here? She told me, father, I am unable, I am sick. I said, but your face. So she laughed, said me. Never look at my face in terms of pain because I have that grace to embrace this because I know it is for a cause. And I pray for you, I pray for others, and I know I carry the cross for the people I love and the people I pray for. I think now that she's gone, we have to choose among ourselves who is now also be carrying the cross for you and for me so that we can embrace pain and suffering with joy. How often I scream at the mere sight or mention of danger. Do not be afraid of pain in life. Do not betray your faith at the moment of testing. I rejoice today as we bid farewell to a lady who in life until death was guided by gospel values. She played her role as a daughter, a wife, a mother, teacher, committed leader of the dedication and faithfulness and strictness, strictness. That almost takes me to the back of this booklet. This is our lady of protection. A mother who is caring, who is guze wiyo mutoto because she knows this is going to be the savior of the world, very protective, and she protects us. So to the family members, the moments mulichuno, moments mulikondole wa macho, it was to make you who you are. And that protectiveness is what we want in life, and to be a role model to others that when you are gone, we celebrate life. Integrity, hard work, faithfulness, simplicity, Prayerfulness, self-sacrifice, toism, and ultimately joy. Long before Jesus was born, there was a guy called Archimedes of Syracuse. The one said, give me a place to stand and a liver, and I shall move the world. Here lies the body of a woman who in a way moved the world and changed the world in her own ways. All we need is a place to stand and a chance to live. My prayer this morning was, God give me a chance to live, and I will do your will. Now you have your moment, I have mine, you remind me, I don't know what you do with your moment when you leave. One day it will be too late to change.
the gospel said is about us. Let your hearts not be troubled. Let your hearts not be troubled. And in one of the churches in Rome, I think in Via Barberini, is a church where they also bury people. And you look in there where they are. And like there's a burial place. And it tells you where you are, I was. And before you answer, second line, where I am, you will be. Then yapo, I'm a zikwa. Does it ever shock us that where we are, others have been? And where they have gone, we are also going to be there. Does that trouble our hearts or does it make us strong in our faith to know we are someone who has gone to prepare the way for us? As we live, remember this, I think it was Caesar after every win of a war, battle, you tell people close to him, Whenever I come so full of joy, tell me, memento homo. Remember, you are a human being. You are not a god. You are a human being. So that you rejoice, but knowing who you are, don't think when you succeed in life, you become a god. You are only a human being with a time limit. The end is nigh. We are here as our sojourn. It will end one day. Do we walk the road less traveled? Do we look back to our Christian roots? Do we live like a minority in our lives? I said we have good supply of good people, but there is also a lot of things we need to reflect about to stand and embrace the cross. As Bishop says, we stand up against corruption. Let's break the chains of corruption. This should mean we should also embrace the chains themselves may be put in chains so as to fight corruption. As we break the chains of corruption, we begin with ourselves, each one of us gathered here today. What role do I play to make my life better and life of others better? As I finish, is this friend of mine called John Henry Newman, and he said, to live is to change, to be perfect is to have changed often. So we are given that chance to change our lives, to embrace the values of God, to live a life which is a life full of goodness, to journey with others, and one day to embrace God. Leo ni siku ya fura, na wale wako na hofu, wazikilize injili, usiwe na hofu, naenda kwa baba. Na nikitengeneza mahali, dawa kujia. Ame kujia moja wetu. Who is next? And are you ready? Now get out and end up with yes. I'm not going to part with you. I'm going to barrick. I'm going to barrick in Chieto to share care of my share of mama. Na vile alikuwa na imani kubwa na mama yetu Maria. Atu angalia kito kambinguni kuto kambinguni na tuliwaze katika mioyo yetu tuweze kusimama imara na zidi kutulinda so that we Leave the gospel values. Our lady of protection, pray for us. After listening to that beautiful homily from Bishop Mungela, let us now take a moment of silence and meditate upon those words. Now stand for the prayers of the faithful.
ndugu wa penzi tunapomsindikiza mama yetu na kuombea roho yake tumekutana hapa kumuomba Mungu imani utafakari fadhili aliyotujalia Mungu wetu tumuombe ili apende kusikiliza kwa huruma sala zetu prayer for the church we pray for the holy church that she may continue to be a beacon of hope righteousness and justice may she courageously execute her rules of prophecy kingship and priesthood lord hear us A prayer for the country. Let us beseech the Lord to pour his loving kindness on our country Kenya. To bless the leadership and citizenry that they may work for the common good of the wonderful nation. May love, peace and justice reign forever. Lord hear us. Prayer for the family. Let us intercede for the family of the late Mama Mary Jambi Gogi, that the Lord, the source of all comfort and consolation, may bring them peace and eternity in this difficult time. Lord, hear us. Prayer for the departed souls. We commend departed soul of Mama Mary Jambi Goge into the merciful heart of God. May she find rest in her source of life and enjoy the blessedness of life internal with God. Lord, hear us. Bwana zibariki zikubalike machoni pako dua za kanisa lako liombalo kwa unyenyekevu ili tujaliwe kwa huruma yako yale ambao hatuwezi kupata kwa mastahili yetu kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu ni wakati wa sadaka na watakaotusaidia kuchukua matoleo ni akina mama wa CWA waliojivika mavazi ya rasmi ya chama kwaaya tuongoze kwa wimbo wa sadaka
Yeah, 
Bali ni ndugu ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. E Bwana tunakutolea kwa unyenyekevu thabithu, thabihu hii tukiomba rehema yako kwa ajili ya wokovu wa mtumishi wako mama yetu Maria Jambi Ngogi na kwa kuwa hakutia shaka kwamba mwanao ndiye mwokozi mwema tunakusihi umjalie ili amfikie na kumuona yeye aliye hakimu mwenye huruma anayeishi na kutawala daima na milele Bwana awe nanyi inueni mioyo tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu kweli ni vema na haki la kufaa na kuleta wokovu tukushukuru we daima na popote e bwana baba ulie mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu katika yeye tumaini la ufufuko wenye heri liliangaza kwetu maana uzima wa amini wako e bwana hauondolewi ila unageuzwa tu na hao wanapata makao ya milele mbinguni ya kisha bomoleo makao ya hapa duniani. Kwa sababu hiyo sisi pamoja na malaika na mala, pamoja na malaika na malaika wakuu pamoja na viti vya enzi na miliki na pamoja na majeshi yote ya malaika wa mbinguni twaimba utenzi wa utukufu wako tukisema bila mwisho. E Bwana kweli mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichombwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia ya mwanao Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tendaji wa Roho Mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifu za wala huachi kukusanya watu kwako ilitoka mawio ya jua hata machoyo yake dhabihu safi itolewe kwa jina lako basi e Bwana tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tunakulolea ili uvitakase upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema tuaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu 
utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitwa kikombe na kukushukuru alikibariki na kawapa wafuasi wake akisema toaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu la agano jipya la milele itakayotolewa kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu fumbo la imani adhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaletao wokovu pamoja na ufufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili moja na roho moja katika Kristo yeye atufanya sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na Maria Bikira mwenye heri na Yusufu mwenye heri ambaye ni mume huyo Bikira mitume wenye heri na mashahidi wako watukufu pamoja na watakatifu wako wote ambao wanategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombezi mbele zako tunakuomba e bwana huyu aliye kafara na upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote upende kuliimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalosafiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu francesco na mimi mtumishi wako pamoja na maaskofu wote wa klero wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii ulioita hapa mbele yako e baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako uwakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani Umkumbuke mtumishi wako mama Mary Njambi uliyemwita kwa kwa kutoka dunia hii umjelie kwamba yeye ambaye alishirikishwa kifo cha mwana mwanao kwa ubatizo alikadhalika ashiriki ufuko wake siku ambapo atawafua wafu katika miili yao kutoka ardhini hapo ataufananisha mwili wa unyonge wetu 
na mwili wa utukufu wake pia wapokee kuema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote waliaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako ndipo utakapofuta kila chozi katika macho yetu maana kwa kuona wewe Mungu wetu kama ulivyo tutafanana nawe milele yote na tutakusifu bila mwisho kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia yake unaojelea ulimwengu mema yote kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele kulitia gizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu ulie binguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama binguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamehe na sisi walio tukosea usitutie katika kishawishi lakini utupo e bwana tunakuomba utupoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwa ema amani maishani mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo E Bwana Yesu Kristo uliyewaambia mitume wako amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa usizitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala milele na milele amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi tutakiane amani
Tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu Tazama ondoai dhambi za ulimwengu heri yao walioalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo E bwana sister hili uingie kwangu lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu ito. E bwana mwanga wa milele waangazie wao pamoja na watakatifu wako milele kwa kuwa wewe umwenye huruma e bwana uwajalie raha ya milele na mwanga wa milele uangazie pamoja na watakatifu wako milele kwa kuwa wewe umwenye huruma Ni wakati wa komunyo takatifu na wale ambao hupokea ni wa Kristu wa Katoliki peke yao ambao wameruhusiwa na kanisa na vile vile wamejitayarisha. Tunao ministers wa kutosha wa kuweza kutufikia mahali tulipo. Kaiba basi tutakaribia mahala Padre atakapokuwa. Kwaya wimbo wa komunyo. Thank you. 
Bali to Sima. Sawa tuketi. for the post communion prayer tuombe e bwana mungu mwanao ametuachia komunyo pamba katika sakramenti ya mwili wake kwa nguvu ya chakula hiki 
Upende kumjalia mama yetu Maria Agnes Jambi afike kwenye karamu ya milele ya Kristo anayeishi na kutawala daima na milele Yeah.
Ruiboru, <laughs> We invite the bishops present so that we can bless the people of God at the end of the ceremony of the Mass. Buana awena ni Awa bariki mungu mwenyezi Baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu Nadani na amani
Tumekamilisha kipindi chetu cha kwanza cha hafla ya siku ya leo ibada takatifu ya misa. Sasa so, tunaingia katika kipindi chetu cha pili na tutaanza kwa kusomewa eulogy naye Kadrin Materi. Karibu. Our mother's life a beautiful soul. Mrs. Mary Agnes Njambi Jaroge, uh, sorry, Mrs. Mary Agnes Jampi Goge was known by many names. Mwalimu, Mwarimo, Ninawa Garasho, Ninawa Mwedia, and more recently, Ninawa Bishop and Ninawa Governor. From her childhood, Mary Agnes Jampi was a quiet and sensitive girl. Born on 18th May, 1934, she was the last born of Mze Joroge Ka Menyere and Waidira Joroge. Her siblings are Danson Mwendia, Frederick Kongu, Francis Maderi, and Rachel Rakeri Waboi, all late. They all had a great love for her. Her mother, Waidera Joroge, passed on early in her life, and she then was taken into the family of her brother, Francis and Laura. Our grandfather Joroge knew the importance of education as he had worked in Mudangari in Nairobi where he first learned of the Catholic faith. He therefore strived to educate his children and moreover was a pioneer in sending a girl, Mary Jambi, to school. She started her primary school days in Gakarara Primary School, later going to Mugoiri for her secondary school. At that time, very few girls in her home area, Kigoya, had gone to school. Mom kept friendships forever. She made life-lasting friends in school. She got to know of the Catholic faith first through her father, Wuka Joroge, but also through her contact with the consolata missionaries in Rosho Parish and in the school. Her devotion and piety only grew in Mugoiri girls. Her personal elegance and responsibilities, sorry, her personal elegance and responsibility made many of her schoolmates admire her. As she would narrate, her deep love for the Blessed Virgin Mary started in those years where she began to say her daily rosary. Her human qualities of simplicity, honesty, diligence, and compassion always stood out. Her career choice to become a teacher was spurred by her desire to help uplift children. She proceeded to St. Cecilia Teachers College in Madari, Nyeri in 1956. Her works of mercy, especially in attending to sick and needy, was outstanding. Many narrate on how she would give assistance quietly from school days. It is during her college days that she became a leader of Catholic action. She was also one of the founding members of Catholic Women Association, CWA, in Nyeri Diocese. They celebrated their wedding with the love of her life, Mr. Thomas Ngohe, on 5th December 1959 in Rosho Parish. Her love for her family was always evident. She loved her husband, Thomas, truly, and she always cared for his well-being up to the last moments. They were blessed with eight children, Boniface Garasho, Patrick Joroge, 
Archbishop Anthony Moheria, Angela Wanjiko, Joyce Waidera, Edith Nyagathu, Mary Wamboi, and Edwin Mwendia. Her last born son, Edwin Mwendia, was her favorite, but God took him on 1st February 1996. He was an exemplary son in many ways, but above all, he knew her heart. Even in those moments, her faith was evident. Her first teaching assignment was Rosho Girls, where she was soon appointed as the first headmistress at barely 24 years of age. Her entire teaching career is marked by a continuous concern to uplift her peoples, especially those that came from challenged families, and to instill Christian devotion and values to each single one. For her, each child was special. She was an excellent teacher and headed Nararia Primary School for over 10 years, where she mentored many. Mary Jambi was a great lay leader in the diocese. She continued her leadership in Catholic action for a long time. She gave many workshops and seminars. In the holy year of 1975, she was privileged to make a pilgrimage to Rome with other lay leaders of the diocese, where she had a chance to greet Pope Paul VI. She loved St. John Paul II, with whom she shared a birthday. In her various roles as mother, teacher, and community leader, she had a soft spot for the very needy. She was always elegant and emphasized cleanliness. She did not like showy and expensive things, but always chose elegance over luxury. In retirement, she became even more involved in community groups and activities with other women and in various development projects in the county. Her humility was truly outstanding. She did not like too many praises on her achievements. She particularly emphasized to her children the value of respect for all, irrespective of their status. She nurtured the vocations of many priests and religious. She was also a column of support for married couples or those called to the way of married life. Mom followed with as much interest the lives and professions of all her children. She especially celebrated the gift of a priest and bishop from among her children. One of those answered prayers was for her son, the governor of Central Bank she loved to listen to details of their work, offering to pray for success and progress. She has suffered illness for over 30 years, which became acute in the past 10 years. When her health deteriorated in 2018, she was flown to South Africa where she was treated accompanied by her husband and children. Her resilience and fighting spirit was amazing to see. The family attended to her illness and sought all medical assistance to get her treatment. We are indebted to all the caregivers, nurses and doctors, especially Dr. Daniel Gidegi, her personal doctor, with whom she had a special bond. Our dear mom bore her suffering, pains and discomfort with a Christian spirit. We are especially grateful to our sister Joyce, 
who cared for mom amazingly in her last years of illness. The Eucharist was always her strength. She always looked forward to receiving Jesus in the Eucharist, which she did at home once or twice a week in the years of her sickness. She has received the anointing of the sick several times and even during the last admission. Mary Jambi's love of our mother Mary made her pray and follow closely the project of the construction of the Shrine of Our Lady of Protection in Kitui. Her joy was visible during the dedication and opening of the shrine on 25th June, 2021. She was looking forward to pay our Mother Mary another visit in Museve. But now, Our Lady came to meet her so she now sees her in heaven, close to God's throne. She went to the Lord on 15th May, 2023, while undergoing treatment in Aga Khan Hospital. Our dear Mary, dearly beloved wife, our dear mom, Shosho, sister, auntie, Grand Shosho, and friend to so many. May God reward you in heaven, and may the seeds you have planted bear a huge harvest. We will cherish your life and qualities. May God make them continue living in our own lives. Amen. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. Mwadhani omuheke huroko geta dirada. Aro huroko horo. Thank you so much, Miss Catherine. Sasa tutangia katika kipindi chetu cha pili rasmi ambacho kitakuwa cha hotuba na ningependa kumpisha mwanzangu mhandisi Michael Kamau atuongoze karibu Asante sana father uh, without taking time i want to invite father has an announcement to make Cathedral Choir uh, to Patane Palenje, Cathedral Choir, and the driver Kagumo Teachers College upon Je. Asante Sana. So I want to invite the chairman of the Board of Management of the Central Bank of Kenya, Mohamed Nyaoga, to come and make his remarks. Mukone, Njuiga. Engineer Kamau is my in law, so he has to treat me very well. I suspect that's why he called me first. I stand here today to deliver our sincere and heartfelt condolences on behalf of the Board of Directors of Central Bank, senior management, and staff to her husband, children and relatives. Patrick is a member of the board, but also the governor of Central Bank. She was a loving mother. and pillar to our family.
it's clear that Mama was a great leader who inspired many, influenced and inspired society. We need to ask ourselves as leaders, are we living our values? We all need to emulate the values Mama stood for. That alone would be a befitting tribute to her. To I've been asked to speak on behalf of the family, and if there is one message to communicate. It's one of gratitude. Yes, she was strong. Looking at her in her hospital bed two weeks ago, I was sure she would bounce back as she had done before. She still had a lot of strength left. We also know that all mothers are superheroes with superpowers, and mom was not different. For instance, a few years ago, I received an urgent call from the president's secretary. I was told that the president needed to talk to Bishop, now Bishop Moheria, and they had tried calling him in vain. <laughs> the request was simple. Could I call the what to do? I called mom and asked her to call Bishop and tell him to call back the person that had been calling him repeatedly. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Mom called Bishop who answered right away. <laughs> the president's secretary called me a short while later to say that they were able to talk to the Bishop. All was good now. I stayed in my lane. She was always teaching us something, but interestingly, she did this calmly. 
in a quiet way and often by example. And maybe we were slow to learn and put it into practice. I remember when I visited home one Sunday afternoon in 2017. It was a good day and after hearty lunch, I took a walk in the farm. When I returned, I forgot to leave my muddy shoes at the door. So I was discussing something with dad, you know, in the dining room, when we had mom call out uncharacteristically, governor! <laughs> Using a label that she never used <laughs> to refer to me. Dad and I knew right away that someone was in trouble. I never again forgot to leave my dirty shoes at the door. So mom was certainly a woman of prayer. This was the most powerful lesson that was taught and learned again and again. What is the worth of gaining the whole world and losing your own soul? But I do not recall her ever coercing us to pray. Rather, with her encouragement and example, it made sense to try each day to build a relationship with God. Yes, the daily rosary was important to her. I was always amazed by her ability to forgive. 70 times, seven times. She did not feel the need to settle a score, point out harshly the mistakes made, or push her to close a deal. Rather, she always pointed to the path of reconciliation and forgiveness. She taught us to be generous, not stingy, in dealing with others. One of the things we learned was taking care of others particularly the more disadvantaged. She did not remind us like motivation speakers would. The measure of a society is how it treats its weakest members. She just acted accordingly and her generous actions spoke volumes. I'm sure each of us has many examples of this. It was therefore easy for me to endorse the desire of CBK staff to support the San Quisito School for the Deaf and similar initiatives that were carried out without fanfare. Additionally, I have reached out to the weakest members within the CBK family, that is, anyone that had recently lost a close family member. But over the last two weeks, I have realized that I am now the weakest member of the CBK family. We've been lifted by the overwhelming support our family has received, prayers and condolences messages. The entire family is, great, is truly grateful and prays that God blesses you richly. Before I finish, I want to express the family's gratitude to all those that helped mom over the years, making her struggles more bearable. This includes her caregivers who are with her at every moment, the nurses and other staff at the Aga Khan University Hospital who, I must confess, are now on first name basis with us, and they also believe we are excellent dancers. The remarkable Dr. Gidegi and other doctors. We remember in a special way the late Professor Paul Curie and the priests that brought her the Blessed Sacrament regularly. We are also grateful to the doctors that attended her in South Africa in 2018 the Kenya Airways staff that made sure she was comfortable during her flights, with a special mention of the KQ manager in Johannesburg, and the women of Opus Dei who visited her every single day. A big thank you also on mom's behalf. Like every child, I shared some secrets with mom. While these are our secrets, I'm sure she would not mind if I revealed one of them. We had a deal that after my term at the Central Bank had ended, we would visit the shrine of Our Lady at Museve Kitui. But God had other plans. She passed away the day after Mother's Day, three days to her 89th birthday. I was devastated at first, but quickly realized that she was now with Our Lady and I can still make the pilgrimage to Mseve. That is a deal. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs receive you. 
and lead you to the holy city, Jerusalem. May choirs of angels receive you, and may you have eternal rest. Um, before I invite the next speaker, I just want to request one thing. Uh, the space is very small. When we live here, only those people, family, very close family, Nariam, Marina Moe, already, Marina Hadu, Neo Mego Diego, Natukuma, Damodaida, please, 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 Murete Kiria, Muere, Wabe Ume. Tordunijui Governor Kangatani Arizona can stay Dumuno again a Mirago Mege, Negeda, Adumakao Taku, Mira, Muenoyo, Norioke, and yes. The next person I'm going to invite is many things to me. He's a friend, he's somebody I've known, he's an engineer, he's uh, my Archbishop, Your Grace. Archbishop Anthony Moheria, please. Mure Iruhe, it may lift him a bit. Ne Bishop Uito. Thank you. Thank you. God is good. God is good. And all the time, more than you have my to eat, okay, Huruko Ita Diraga Aro Huruka Horo. The speeches have been made. Mom was very simple, she was just a beautiful soul. Didn't like fanfare and wanted us in all ways to give her her simplicity back. So allow me kindly that today, in keeping with herself and us, we will kindly just have one person who speak for the political leaders, but we will recognize our leaders. However, we do have here our dear beloved bishops who have been so kind and so warm. And as is tradition, I am, I am not worthy, I am not the one given that duty to introduce them. So kindly allow me to call the Vice Chair of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops from here to introduce and make known to us the bishops here present. I have been corrected. The chairman has been given a role. Welcome my brother, Archbishop Martin Kivuva Mosonde of Mombasa. Please appreciate him. He will recognize the bishops present and give our condolences. Welcome brother. Your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, Your Graces, and in particular, Your Grace, Archbishop Anthony Muheria, the Archbishop of Nyeri, all the bishops present, their representatives, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, Brothers, the political team and class, the county officials who are here, more so Baba, Patrick, na, all the family of the deceased 
Mama Mary Agnes Jambi kina mama kina baba watoto na all the members who are here including friends the community of the Opus Day and all of us who have come far and wide tumsifu Yesu Kristo Mungu ni mwema kila wakati there are two occasion or one occasion I remember in the Bible very clearly where Christ cried. It was due to a friend he had, the family of Razaro, Mary and Martha. And that day, Martha and Mary had sent a word saying, Yule unai mpenda anaumwa. The one you love is very, very, very sick. Come immediately. Then, unfortunately, that time, there was no planes, no anything. It took a while, three days. And by the time he arrived at Mary's house, Mary's home, a place he knew very well, he ate there often going to Jerusalem. He was anointed with oil there. They arrived and everybody, he, she wondered, he wondered, what's going on here? Of course he knew it, his friend was dead. So that day, Jesus cried. Wow, he cried a big cry. And he asked a question, Memweka Wapi, where have you put him? Shortly after, Mary appears and they came and he says, they say, you know, if you were here, our brother would not be dead. But we know, we know, we know you are the source of life and so on. He cried heartily. Why? Because he was a friend of Razzler and this particular family. Any one of us today, I'm sure if you asked any of us, we listened to the you, uh, eulogies on the, over the radio or TV. We don't cry until we hear somebody we know. Oh my God, I'm a kufa. That happened with us. The other day when the date mentioned Mama's day passing on, we were in a meeting, about four or five of us. And Archbishop Muheria kept in and out. He told me, it, he said, my mother is in the hospital. I'll have to be quickly finish this meeting and go and meet him. It didn't take the end of the day when the message was passed on. And I was saying, should I call him now? I really was kind of scared to tell him poorly at that hour because we knew his state of mind. I let it lie down for another day. And of course, the message was going around, Mama Keme Fariki. When I got him, I said, Ndugu, I cannot say more, poorly. And the day he went, <sighs> I didn't know what to say. He already knew about the mother's condition when we were there, but he was courageous to bear the meeting and later on go. So we want to say thank you for that day. You gave us a glimpse of the families, what they were going through. And we sent a word to pray, and we have been praying with you. And I want to say, this is exactly what's going on in many of our families too. The deaths we hear every day, and maybe never stop to say a prayer or think about them. We want to say Paul to the whole family, and we want to say to Kopamoja, not the Kenyan way, but the faith way. We want to cry with you like Jesus did with Mary and Martha. And with us, we was want to say as a conference, all we can say, we loved this family. You stood out as a family that was united, as a Catholic family that stood out in many occasions, even reaching out to where your brother was. When I left Machakos, I handed over the fimbo to him. I said, brother, we endelea masaku. Wakajifunza kikamba. He's like my brother, Naitan Andugu. Then later on, he ends up in Kitui. And I want to say, this is the way we want to ask 
Some of us have come here because of the mother who has gone. Others have come because of the governor, Patrick, or the family, Baba, Watoto. But really, we have come here as a family of God, the Catholic community in this country. And we want to say, Pole, I am sure prayers are all over as we speak now. And whoever's been watching us here is saying, yeah, we want to be strong family. And let me repeat this word because that's what is going on. As I left Mombasa yesterday night, we were reflecting on about safeguarding of family, safeguarding of children. Family starts from children. And bringing them with this, what we're calling the Catholic values, the values of care and protection. We have seen it here. I want to encourage ourselves and every one of us to kindly, to kindly strengthen your families. Protect your family like Joseph did, like the family we hear here. Walk with them in their work, in their place. Pray with them. And of course, a prayer always, you know, can move mountains. Last but not least, as I stand here as a chair of the Conference of Catholic Bishops, I will only ask them to stand by, let me call it, uh, by metros. Kisimu Metro, kindly stand, and I'll invite them, we know, we'll name them. Let's start from the west, going to the east. Kisumu Metro bishops, kindly stand. This is my bishops from um, Kisumu, starting with the youngest bishop, Henry, from Kitale, Makofi. <laughs> Bishop Kadima from Bungoma, Makofi. <laughs> Bishop John from Lodwa, Makofi. <laughs> Bishop Dominic Kimengich from Eldoret, Makofi. <laughs> and then Bishop Mairura Wakisi, Makofi. Thank you, that's done. And in absentia, the Archbishop had to go, Bishop Muhatia Makumba from Kisumu in absentia to Mpigie Makofi. <laughs> Let's move to the diocese of, uh, the central diocese of Nairobi. Let's go to Nairobi. We are moving from west to east. Nairobi, we have the youngest just arrived, hardly a month. <laughs> Bishop Oseso, Oseso from Nakuru. <laughs> Monsignor Maswili, Military Ordinariate, Makofi. <laughs> Bishop Wakitui, who owns Museve, <laughs> none other but our preacher for the day, Bishop Mongela. Thank you very much for the nice. And then Bishop uh, uh, Ole Owa from the Diocese of Ngong. Asante. Last but not least, Mustafa wa Nairobi, none other but Cardinal John Jue, <laughs> whom we name Nibaraka. Asante sana. Nibaraka. Let's go to the diocese, the, the Nyeri, Nyeri Metro. Nyeri Metro, of course, the Archbishop Amepoteze wa Nduguyake. Mwenyeji wa mji, Bishop uh, Maria Wainaina, Makofi. <laughs> Bishop Cairo, uh, Ambani Mstaf, Archbishop, Ristaf, Wanyeri. Bishop Kariuki, the Bishop of Embu. <laughs> Bishop Batia, the Bishop Nyaururu, Makofi. <laughs> and of course, Mwenyeji na Mpapole, Askofu Mkuu. Askofu Anthony Muheria, Makofi Tena. I'm not sure how many are from Mombasa, Mombasa Metro. There are not too many. We have three dioceses. We have Garissa, Bishop George, Makofi, and myself, Mombasa. The third diocese, Wamefiwa na namikasa mingi, kule shakahola, malindi, ambao kilifi ipo. 
Askofu Lago in absentia. Did I forget any other one? No, the dioceses, anybody, any representative of the dioceses? Any representative? Kakamega, this is a representative, Makofi. And then, of course, our Secretary Generals, uh, Lugonzo, Father Reverend Wright Lugonzo, and uh, Father Ngaruya, our liturgist. So before I end, I've introduced them. I want to thank once again and invite the nuncio for a word. Karibu, welcome, Anencio is, uh, he's working 24-7. We were with him in Mombasa yesterday for another feast, and he's here today, and I want to say we are really proud of you. Keep up the good work, and pole for the South Sudan. We can never, South, no, for the Sudanese, Sudan as large, and the great work you have to do to ensure that peace continues to prevail. Sante. Sante. Sante Your Grace, the Archbishop of Mombasa and the President of the Conference, all the Archbishops here present, my dear brother uh, bishops, and especially, of course, the Archbishop of Nyeri, uh, who lost his mother, uh, all the priests here present, and a very special way, of course, the family, uh, the husband and the children, and all the family and friends here present. Nutum Sifu Jesu Christo, Milena Milela, Amina. I'm not sure, but I'm sure the family can sense it and also hear the people on the first rows. If you smell carefully, you smell the lilies. That is the perfume of a life good lived. I really feel that it is like, you know, some of the great saints that is said about them that at the moment that they died, there was the perfume of lilies and roses in the room. This is a sign of a life good lived. A woman who lived her life as a teacher, as a wife, as a mother, as a grandmother, and simply as a Christian. As Bishop Wangela also said, a life of sacrifice. A woman who did not make much fuss about it. She just did it. And in the for the scriptures said that the parents, the father and the mother, they are honored in their children. I don't have to say anything more at this point. Just look to the children. You see the value of the parents. Mr. Thomas Gugi, very grateful and respect for the work, for the fatigue, for your love, for your dedication, for your care for the family, together with your beloved wife. I know she leaves an enormous emptiness behind, which cannot be filled anymore, especially after such a long marriage. But you can be proud of your children. You can be proud of them, how they will support you. And I think that is a school for all of us, also for us people who are maybe leaders or political leaders in the country, it's not about the fuss you make. It's not about the show and the fanfare. It's about the hard work. It's about dedication. It's about service. It's about sometimes very painful sacrifice for the greater good. The good of the people, the good of the nation, for the kingdom of God itself. May eternal rest be granted to her, O oh Lord. May she rest in peace. Amen. Thank you, my dear brother bishops. At this moment, allow me to also now recognize a few people. First and foremost, I would like to recognize my family, dad, and my son.
kindly, dad and my sisters and brothers, kindly stand first and let us appreciate them. Thank you very much. Please kindly be seated. I would like still to ask one of them to keep standing, Joyce. That lady has kept mom so close to her, has lost so many nights of sleep with great love. I would kindly ask all the nephews and nieces of Ma, of our nephews and nieces, that's grandchildren, who are here present, please stand, all of them. <laughs> including, may we also have the other relatives from Mokorue and from Kigoya, please kindly keep standing, all the relatives who are here present, and I'd like us to applaud them because they've played a place in the life of this great lady. My dear brothers and sisters, my uncle, Fafa, Namaito, it's a time to hold together tightly. That's what our mom has taught us. Thank you. A good applause. I'll kindly now like to appreciate the religious women here present. Kindly stand, mom supported the religious women in a very special way. At one stage, as young boys, we are getting edgy because too many of these sisters are constantly in our home and we didn't have freedom, but we can see the fruits. Kindly sisters, and religious brothers, please stand and applaud. We can appreciate you. Thank you for the prayers and support to this family and to dear mom, whom you all loved and assisted in many ways and also benefited. I'll kindly like now to ask the priests here present who in many ways have supported us in an overwhelming way, especially now showing the great love that mom inspired in the life of priesthood. All priests present, irrespective of your diocese, kindly stand. As you can see, we have almost 300 priests present here. A good applause for them, they are my special ones. Thank you, thank you for your prayers and solidarity and support. There is no doubt the big battalion is a battalion of CWA who mom had a great role in nurturing it. Atumi aitu a CWA. Hello? Ingera Rori kiro rero mutumia tainyue murotuika take neguona inyue tumuhegite yona tumutugede wega muno. Another round of applause for these good ladies. My problem when I reach there is that I know I will have a revolution unless I do the next thing, which is the men of CMA. We must you stand wherever you are, and we know we are a good number. Men of CMA who have been next to my dad in a very special way. Aduri, aduri, aduri. Thank you very much, especially for standing by dad. 
Now mention two groups which are a bit different and unexpected. I would like the youth who have come from Nyeri, if at all they are here, both in school and out of school, to stand, my special ones. If you are here, the young people, the youth, please stand wherever you are. They are all back there. Thank you. We appreciate you. They came, about 700 of them, three days ago to sell Dad Pole. Amongst that group, there is a special. Kindly be seated. Thank you, young, young men. There are the border border people from Nyeri. Please stand. There are about a hundred of them. They are our brothers who we work very, very closely with. And they have said they will leave their business today to come and join us. Boda Boda Asante Sana. I would like at this moment also to recognize certain group of people who have been very instrumental to mom's health. The health givers. Dr. Jenga is here. I'm not sure whether Dr. Gideg is here. Plus the nurses who attended to mom. Kindly stand. <laughs> Doctor, I'm not sure where Dr. Jeremy is. If he can wave wherever he is, I can't see him. He was around. Let's appreciate him wherever he is. And Dr. Githegi. I think having done that, I have, I have recognized a good number of our close people to mom. Allow me to turn to our leadership. There are many people here who are from corporate. Um, I know that your chair didn't ask you to stand, but I think I can take the liberty chair to ask the CBK people here present to stand. Thank you for your solidarity. Thank you for being close to us. Allow me to ask those who are in corporate and have been working with either our brother Governor, our brother Boniface, our sister Joyce, those who are working here, and any other corporate to kindly stand. And here I also include boards and Yeri. Kindly stand. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to recognize special friends. There are many of them. I know all of us are friends. But special friends, recognized in a special way, have best made in 1959, Madame Cecilia, who we know as Auntie Susie, plus all other friends. Would you kindly just stand if you recognize yourself as a friend? First, close friends, yes. Please stand, the friends who are close. Anyone else who has not been mentioned and is in the friend category, please stand. I saw Mr. Ngumi out there. I think he was about to leave, but others, please stand, please stand. I can see some of you who don't work in CBK and our friends, Mr. Kiboro, others, others, please stand, feel free. There is no ticket for friendship. There is no ticket for friendship. Yes, more are standing, 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 more are standing. Let's give them an applause. Thank you very much. To our leadership, MCA is present. Before going to the MCAs, we have our Ngao leadership, chiefs, assistant chiefs, 
who are here, please kindly stand. And uh, DCCs, police, security, thank you. Our MCA is here present, led by our local MCA in Araria, kindly. Thank you very, very much. We deeply appreciate your being close to us during this time. Thank you kindly. We want to recognize the members who are in the county executive, both from Nyeri and Moranga and elsewhere. Kindly stand if you're here. County executive, county executives, or people working in the county, excluding the governor. Thank you. Allow me to recognize also our local uh, MP and the other MPs here present. Our local MP is Eshege, uh, who is a student of MAM. Thank you very much. I deeply appreciate. I also like to recognize also special guests here present, our dear own uh, former CS, Eugene Wamalwa, who is here. Thank you very much for the love and for your presence. We also want to in introduce and recognize our wonderful lady who we admire too, Madam Martha Karua, who is also here. Thank you, Madam, for honoring us with your presence. May God bless you too. I would like to introduce to our senators on one hand, our Senator John Yotu, who is here. Thank you very much, who was with us a few days ago. I think you spent almost three hours with Muse, talking and encouraging him. Thank you. And from our own Yeri, our own senator, whom we call Super Senator Wamatinga, who is over there. Thank you for the great honor given to us. Allow us also to recognize former leaders who are here. I can see Peter Kenneth here and others who are former MPs, former uh, governors and other leadership. Kindly stand so that we can appreciate you. That is Madam Grace also from MT. Uh, thank you very much. We appreciate. I think with that, I will be permitted Mom loves simplicity, humility, and particularly wished that funerals should not have any politics. We also have made no tributes as family. She wanted simple, no fanfare, no exaggeration, just her. She never wore makeup, ever. Mom never wore makeup. She wanted herself as is. And didn't want people to overpraise her. So I am in danger if I continue the way I'm going on. My to de daga, go ti daga, ti diri wa kira wa we muega, ago kuira diena ko. Na kuwa goto tire na adeto nye geto le dako muedilia. Kana kuwa gere la gumo. Nego koruo. Age koruo dhahafu. Nye dhahafu. Dio hagwa na gadeti. Kana niyo hagwa na gadeti. Eiga kwa uwe hiya na. Na dehea kwa advertisement. Ura dhahafu. Na kuigane. Mom was a beautiful soul. And we want to bury her simply, as beautiful as she is, without any more. Express desire of our dad, and express desire of our mom, and express desire of the family. Thank you, mom. That's all we say. Dance with the angels, celebrate. The only last statement which we'll make in a short while. Allow me at this moment, on behalf of our leaders, to kindly ask our dear governor, Irogu Kangata, to say a word 
of condolence on behalf of all leaders. Welcome. The Bishop of Nyeri Diocese, Bishop Moheria, the clergy led by our bishops, and also the family, and all protocol observed. Kainimwega. Moranga County government and also the people of Moranga take this opportunity to condole with the family for the loss of their loved one. Today is a mourning day. Definitely, mom was a good person who gave us great family. But also, as Christians, we also celebrate this day. And the reason is, the Bible tells us, fear not he who kills the body. Fear he who kills both the body and the soul. Those of us who are Catholics, we believe old age and the disease has only killed the body of our mom. It has not killed the soul of our mom. We strongly believe As Catholics, we strongly believe the soul of our mom reposes in the husband who is now 90 years plus. That is the soul of our mom. We believe the soul of our mom reposes in having a very great family. A family comprised of very good daughters and very remarkable sons including our bishop from Nyeri, our governor of the central bank, who has done a remarkable job to make Kenya a great country. That is the soul of our mom. It will not die. <laughs> the soul of our mom also reposes in the great people of Kandara constituency, a constituency that has produced great leaders, including people like Bildad Kagea, who refused to accumulate wealth for the justice of people of Kenya. People like Charles Rubia, who come from this constituency, whose effort to make Kenya a free and democratic country is a legacy that will live forever. And so many other leaders who come from this great constituency called Kandara. That is the soul you see in our great mom. And therefore, we celebrate. We pray. What I can only tell my friend Bishop, we shall stand with you. And Mze is a great icon of this county of Moranga. I went there the other day and I was so amazed by the kind of shamba he has. In 1970s, he could see that the avocado plant is the plant of the future. The current people, the current main cash crop currently of people of Ngararia, Kagondoini, as we speak, number one is the avocado plant that was introduced by this Mze you see here. We are so proud of him. I will finish by thanking the people of Muranga, the Mushokriya Gada Todu, through your small efforts, shall we take a Kureha Besha through automation. Whenever we get problems of getting exchequer money from Nairobi, we have been able to do very little things that can change the lives of the people of Muranga, including giving porridge to 42,000 peoples of all ECDs every day for free. <laughs> Providing 20,000 households with Kangata Care, a, a special card that has some special unique advantages in a collaboration that we have as a county government and NHIF, including every mother currently in Moranga who is going to deliver, to incentivize our mothers to deliver in our public hospitals, we are reimbursing them fair during delivery and during antenatal clinics. 
including efforts to revive our ECD. So therefore, I want to take this opportunity also to thank the people of Moranga for the support you have given us to this county government. Thank you. Asante. <laughs> Thank you so much to all the speakers who have given their brief speeches. I would like to invite Mr. Angaracho to come and give a vote of thanks on behalf of us all. I stand here in humble accord, really to express a heartfelt appreciation for everyone who's here. I think it's important to say that we are not strong, we're human. Every one of us, including dad, has shed a tear. But every call you've made, every hug, has kind of eased that pain, has allowed us to accept it and we're not denying that we're human. So from that perspective, your being present here is in particularly important in supporting us in that regard. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much on behalf of dad and my siblings. But I think it would be remiss of me if I would not particularly highlight some people who have been very, very useful to us and I'll just kind of go through them, uh, because they've done a wonderful job. Not in any order, some of them have already been mentioned, uh, but beyond family and friends, we've had a lot of financial support, really a lot of financial support. This day wouldn't be if it was not for everyone's little contribution. So once more, tremendous thank you for that. The priests of Opus Dei who gave mom communion regularly, I think we should applaud them. They were there for mom all the time. The priests and religious of Nyeri and Moranga, in particular, have been there in all these occasions. We cannot understate what they've done. All the calls that have been made by various people to support mom are incredibly supportive. We really applaud that as well. Doctors and caregivers, that has been mentioned. Dr. Kethegi, Dr. Jeremy Jenga, but I, I will not, I will still emphasize the particular cares, Jerry, Jockey, Esther, and Grace. They were there for mom even in the last minute. She was there when she was kicked out by the doctors to do their job. And you can imagine how that feels. The bishops here present, and the priests, the organizing committee, and I'll come back to the organizing committee, the liturgy team, the Kavuruge Parish, Kavuruge Combined Choir, service providers, including Wanda Joy, who made this stand, and there are many more that I'm not gonna enumerate, but they've all contributed something to making this a wonderful moment for mom. We could not celebrate it without everyone's contribution. But also, it's important to mention the support we've got from local government. I think that's also important, and I think my brother, Archbishop, has mentioned that, and the entire extended family. I have to say, and I want to mention this in particular, the preparation committee, led by one and only Eugenia Kamau. We've had Father Charles Dongo on that committee. We've had Garacho Mwangi, Kamau Matheri, Nicholas Molila, Kichoke Mugabe, David Motahi, Peter Keronjo, Stanley Kigera, Wallace Kantai, Mary Jane, Miruamai, Father Bernard Garuya, Father Elias Motahi. They have met consistently every day. And sometimes they've been giving us briefings at midnight because of the dedication of work they wanted to show the love and care for mom.
Last but not least, and perhaps the most important, I turn my attention to say something for mom. Mom, on behalf of these siblings, previously naughty when we were young, let's say that on behalf of these siblings, we say to you, mom, we love you. And I think today was an interesting day, or perhaps a tough day. When we met in the morning, we all shed a tear, every one of us. But that tear, mom, let it be a sense of showing gratitude and love, of saying, thank you, mom, for everything you did. We are who we are because of you, mom. Kwaheri, mom. But before I yield to the next person, I want to address one man we call dad. He's a great man. He's a good man. He has shown us what it means when you say for sickness and health. He stood with mom day in, day out. We even wondered how he can survive, and he's still suffering. So dad, with all our love from my siblings, you're the best we've had. We love you, we're there for you. Mom hasn't left you. So once more, if we've left any, anyone out, please uh, pardon us. But I think from my siblings, from dad, I thank you, thank you very much. Asanteni. You'll forgive me, I'm hogging. But dad had a special request. And I'll kindly ask him to come forward. I'll stand by you and you want to say a prayer. A brief prayer which he insisted he must say and I think God has given him the strength allow him to say it to his beloved. Mwadhani ohe mire jambi wakwa kihuro kogita viraga. Aro huro ka uhoro. My dear, my dear, dear. My wife and the mother of my children, I loved you when we were together, and I love you when you are with God. You have fought a good fight. Dear, my Lord, thank you for giving her to me. And I thank you for blessing us with the children and the home. God of love, receive her into our home. My Lord, and my God, help me to be like her. And when you call me, allow me to join her where she is. God, hear your servant, Thomas. Amen.
Asante sana, asante sana mzee, Mungu akutulize na kupe amani. Before we have the final commendation, I would like to make a announcement. Tangazo la vinya tutaka viondoka katika kutoka kwa uga huu. Tutaka pofika nje, tukielekea pale kaburini, tutaka pomlaza mamo wetu, tutaongozwa na gari la polisi, in baloni jolitakuwa mbele, Lafu baadae nyuma yake kutakuwa na has ambo itakuwa mbiba mwili wa mamo wetu. Na nyuma tutakuwa na gari na mama gari ya taka wabeba wanafamilia. Wa Lafu watafu watu wa nyumae na gari litaka lobeba maskofu wetu wote wakuwa pamoja. Na nyuma yao tutakuwa na mapadre wetu. Lafu viongozi wetu wa kiserikali mboja na Wengine wote ambao tuneza kuwa tukona that special card ama pass ya kuingia pale. Tukiondoka hapa baada ya final commendation, commendation tutatangaza vile tutaka vya beba uh, mwili wa mamu tutaru tutabeba kupita, kupitia kwa procession kama tulivyo ingia na kini tutatangaza tukifika hapo. Kwa basi wakati huu. Ningependa kumpisha mwenzangu Michael Kamau ili atueleza tukitoka nje ya geti vile tutaka vyofuata safari. Thank you father. Uh, the coffin, the casket will be carried by priests from Nyeri. Dio atabeba kutoka hapa, wapifikishe a third of the way, then wapatie the priests from Muranga and the family dio atapokea mwili na kuweka kwa kwa gari so hivyo ndivyo tutakapoenda nirudie tena tafadhali tumeambiwa tuheshimu hiyo utaratibu ambao tumepewa ili tupatie heshima kwa mama asanteni sana kama kuna mtu ambaye tumekosea kidogo amefinywa tumemkosea heshima uh, we ask for your pardon E, inakuwa gaivo saa ingine kama umekanyangwa hivi pale lakini tuko kwa nyumba ya Mungu zote tujisikie uh, Mungu ametujalia siku jema asanti asanti engineer sasa tutasimama sote tuweze kwenda katika final rights
atheru aga yokai atheru aga yokai araika mwadhani amukirai moyo wa mutigaire tokete kumagaria Mary Agnes Jambi mutware kuri urea uri iguru muno Kristo ryo gwetete ni akwamukire na araika ni magotware githurine kya ifurahemu mamukire moyo waku mautware kuri urea uri iguru muno mwadhani tiga gutwera dugata yaku tado gutire modu mutheru bere yaku tiga o ade geirio madahu make niwe kogo ni togo gudaida itware akuritika muhinyiririe ule a kristo menyihetie maraku hoya ni undu wake ego kudhi ni uliruona ruliru wa idatu mutheru na todo wa utagiri waku muohere mehia make ona gutweka ni agireiro ni gutwero ni undu wa mehia make we mwadhani ni togo daidogo we utura kana wadhanaga mede na mede ne goinaina nie na getigera dili ashirogo kawa marakara igoro na thi ne igathi githio muthenya ucio ni muthenya wa uru wa marakara na wakeha muthenya munene urulete taki dili awe ugo kagushiriria the eno na mwaki umunegere mwadha ni kihuru kwa gitadiraga fafa bitore igoro salam maria Kuzwe Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Atukuzwe Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Atukuzwe Mungu Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Baba yetu uliye biguni. Salam Maria Atukuzwe Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Atukuzwe Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Atukuzwe Mungu Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Baba yetu uliye biguni. Atukuzwe ufalme wako ufike, utakayofanyika duniani kama biguni. Tutupea mkate wetu wa kila siku, samehe makosa yetu. Na tunaambia samehe na sisi wale wetu kosea, usitie katika kishaishi, lakini tuokoe na amini. Amen. Salamu Maria. Nibarikiwa kulikuwa na wake wote na yesu mzao tuburako mbarikiwa Maria mtakatifu mama wa mungu Tuwa besisi wako sefu Sasa na saa kufako yetu amin Atukuzwe mungu baba na mwana na wa mtakatifu Atukuzwe mungu baba mwana na wa mtakatifu Atukuzwe mungu baba mwana na wa mtakatifu Baba yetu uliye biguni. Mfano wa kofika, utakayofanyika duniani kama biguni. Tupeleo mkate wetu wa kila siku, samehe makosa yetu, 
kama tunavyo samehe na sisi walio tukosea tutie katika kishawishi wake kuma muro moishwa ine aro huro ka uhoro mwadhani igwe ihoya ria kwa mwadhani aro ikara na inywe nitohoe gai owe wiki weda na uhanagira mawehia nitogo kaira twinyihetie nyudo wa moyo wa mutigaire Miri agendez jambi uria wete te adame deno duka mune ya ne moko ine ma shaitani ore tene na tene no wadane amukiro ne araika akwa dero ato aru mushie mudero wa ikenero na todu ni akwehokete na agagwetekia tuma dakananya dakanya mario ni maruo ma ireheroine no agia na moke ni matadiraga ma ikenero ni udo wa kristo mwadhani wito Padre Tafadali, my priests kindly follow the bishops. My Padre wa Jimbo Kula Nyeri Tafadali, it's known to Nisi Trangoza, Kubeba. Wili mama wetu alafu tupatilishe mapadre wa Moranga pale katikati na mwishowe huweze kupokelewa na familia Koya koya tubaki tu mahale tupo tafadhali <tipos> 